Hey everyone, MTast here, and on this episode of Balancing Destiny, we're going to be talking about the scoring bonus in PvP. Now, for the most part, this doesn't affect every game out there. Honestly, there are some situations where this scoring bonus doesn't even matter. It hardly comes into play, because in a game like Control, your movement around the map and locking down zones, as well as your ability to outslay the enemy team, is mostly going to dictate if you win or lose. A couple extra points from a super kill or a headshot or something like that usually will not win you or lose you the game. It's the overall ability to play that game type properly as well as outslay your opponents. However, in a game mode like Rumble, you can lose a game despite outslaying your opponents by 3, 4, and at times 5 kills, which is completely and utterly unacceptable in any sort of competitive mode like Rumble, where you are fighting for your life to slay and to win the game. So, before we dive into it fully, let's talk about the scoring system, period. The scoring system, for the most part, is useless in Destiny. It doesn't bring a lot to the game because you don't get bonus experience or anything like that. It doesn't unlock guns uh, like a Call of Duty game or anything like that, really. For the most part, the scoring system is just to dictate if you win the game or if you lose. And the majority of it comes from kills. Yeah, you, we all know this. This is very simple stuff. But what this scoring system does is it dictates how well you killed someone or how fancy or whatever you want to consider it because you're going to get different points based on how you kill them. If you land a sniper headshot, you're going to get 10 points extra. If you land a super, you get 25 points extra. And now you're running into a situation where you now need to contemplate, well, why, why, why does the super get more points than the sniper? If I run up to you and I fist of havoc you point blank, do I really deserve 25 extra points than if I outdueled you with a pulse rifle? You know, I really earned it for that pulse rifle kill. I, I feel like I deserve some points. But this guy that pressed L1R1 on top of me is now getting more points just because he had his super up in that engagement. And, I mean, I'm gonna have my super up at some point. That's fine and well, but... Why the fuck am I getting extra points just for using it? It doesn't take any skill to run into a team and throw down a Fist of Havoc. It doesn't take any skill to get a triple kill in a control match when everyone's grouped up on a point. So why, if I get this triple kill, am I getting 75 more points than the guy that used a Mida multi-tool across the map to get that same triple? It just doesn't make sense. Why? You're getting a free kill. You have your super. So why is that more points and more rewarding than someone that gets the harder to get kill in the game? That's where I'm a little bit lost. And I understand you want to feel cool for getting these kills. You want your super to be impactful, but it is impactful. Let's say you get a triple kill with your super. Let's say it's a storm trance. That's three kills for your team. That's a great thing right there. Now, if you factor in situations where you may be shutting down another super, that's another big bonus for your team. And then you generate some orbs on top of it, and things start to get stupid. And then you add in some extra points, and the map control factor, and every little bit around a super, and whether you get one kill, or two kills, or three, or what it might be, you're pretty well giving your team an advantage just by having your super and getting those kills. Now, to throw those bonus points on top of it, and all the other things that go along with it, it starts to get a little stupid. It starts to get a little bit silly. And these situations, for the most part, don't matter. They don't matter in a game like Control because there are six other players that are able to do it. And it's not going to change the impact of a game that much. If you outslay a team, you outslay a team. But here's what doesn't make sense. When you start playing a game of Rumble and you lose by five kills because of all these tiny little factors. I want to give you a little scenario because this happens on a daily basis. It might not happen to this extremity, but it happens to people all over the world of every skill type. Now let's just get into it. You're doing amazing. You're doing the best you've done in a long time. You're 10, maybe 15 kills ahead of everyone in Rumble. And the chances you lose are zero. You're like, nah, not gonna happen. We got this in the bag. I'm playing amazing. And for whatever reason, five seconds before the heavy round, the guy in second place kills you. Not only does he get 50 extra points just for killing you because you're in first, but he now gets control of the heavy. He's got a heavy machine gun and he starts mowing into enemies. And he gets 25 bonus points for every kill. You spawn up, 
and he kills you once again for 25 extra points for the heavy kill and another extra 50 just because you're in first. And then you spawn again. And unfortunately, that cocksucker has rotated around the map and kills you once again with a heavy machine gun, getting another 75 extra points. And this shit starts to add up really quickly. You are sniping your dick off. You are playing the best goddamn game you can do. And then that same guy kills you with a heavy, getting another 75 points. And what ends up happening is this fucking guy wins the game with seven less kills than you. Because he had the heavy machine gun for the last four minutes, and he, for whatever reason, continually got the cleanup kills on the guy in first place. Does this guy, who is using a heavy machine gun, and is killing the one person on the, you know, entire map that's going to give him bonus points, deserve to win the game of Rumble? Is, is, is that what we're trying to tell everyone? That this guy deserves to win? No, it's not acceptable. Things like that shouldn't happen. If you're out slaying everyone, you are out playing everyone, and you're getting more raw kills, you deserve to win that game. And I think if Destiny moved to a situation where, yeah, you're still going to get cool multi-kills popping up on the screen, maybe you get a little bonus experience. I don't care what you do with the scoring system. Make people feel good about getting cool kills. That would be great. Even if it's a mode of light, I don't give a shit. But when you start hurting people for doing well, or hurting people for not using OP shit and winning, well, I mean, that, that gets a little... A little painful, you know what I mean? Just because you're not getting super kills, but you're slaying with everything else, shouldn't dictate if you win or lose a game. Same with playing well early in a game like Rumble. Does this make sense? Does this seem smart? Good. I've thought about it for a while. I've raged about it for longer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye bye